Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today we're choosing and preparing the details to be added to the Roman House dining room. Now that we're finished with the laundry room, we really need to bring the dining room together. Thanksgiving is coming up, and it would be a shame not to have things all decorated for the holidays. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my beautiful china cabinet. And it was one of the first pieces that I bought for the dining room. I always think of the china cabinet as that piece that anchors the look in the dining room. So I just began to go through the little treasures that I had. And I brought together everything I had because I wasn't really sure what I was going to put in the china cabinet. And I found out in the process that everything that I wanted to go in there wouldn't fit. So I had to use the items that specifically fit on the shelves and really were the best looking as far as visually. So you'll see what I mean soon, dolls. So I'm just showing you some of my little treasures and the pieces that I really purchased individually specifically for the china cabinet. And so I have everything from several different patterns of china. I have wine glasses. I have vases. And this is a delicate little ginger jar that I got from the Ann Arbor Miniature Show. And here's a lovely vase I got, but it doesn't fit either, dolls. So I'll have to pick pieces that fit on the shelves really neatly. I love this little blue set. It's really, really pretty. And I think the colors are striking. I truly had my heart set on using this plate on one of the shelves. But look at that, dolls. It's way too big. So I'm going to have to just save that to put food on it. So let me go through my little treasures and see what actually fits. And dolls, I hope you don't mind. But this is another instance where I'm going to play. And you have to play when it comes to miniatures, especially when it comes to decorating. Everything is not pre-decided. You just have to play around with it and see what works the best to see what looks the best. And that is definitely the case when you're choosing accessories. Pull together all the accessories you have and then see what works together. Now dolls, in addition to choosing the glassware and things for the china cabinet, we actually need to do the wall decor. Now I do have several pictures and wall ornaments I have. And when I say wall ornaments, I actually even have brooches dolls. Yes, pins and broken jewelry that I've turned into picture frames. These little blue ones were actually links to a bracelet, and I glued pictures behind them. So when I display them, they'll be all together in a little series. Now that little cameo was a broken piece of jewelry, and so was this brooch. The stone fell out of it, so I glued some paper inside and painted this picture of a pretty lady. I actually think that'll look pretty in one of the dollhouse bedrooms. Now let's look at the bigger pictures, the more grand pictures that would go in the dining room. Now this was a pretty little broken watch, and I thought it looked like a mantle clock. It's got the little cherubs on the side. It had a gold finish, but I put the black paint and alcohol wash on it and gave it a nice patina. I think it made it look better more vintage. It might look nice in the dining room. I do have this little mirror, but it's not grand enough. Now, these are two picture frames that I made with liquid Sculpey. They're really pretty. I gave them a nice patina, but they look kind of plain for the dining room. They look like they may go in the library, so I'm going to set those aside. And these, I really like them. The frames are really beautiful. But I think the prints that I put in there are actually too modern. Now I really love this. Now dolls, be careful when you store your things. Sometimes the paint from one item will transfer, which is what happened to this frame. I'll be able to remove it with a little alcohol. But I got these lovely prints from a friend of mine and I made the frames with popsicle sticks. But I think they'll look better in the cafe rather than the dining room. So I'm going to set those aside for the cafe. Now here's another really nice picture that I did, again with the liquid Sculpey frames. But again, the print looks kind of like a still life. And I think that type of image will look better in the library or the lobby. 
So dolls, keep in mind art and pictures, images, they create a mood. Now this is a little picture frame that I made um, back in July last year. This picture is actually a postage stamp. I just thought it was cute, a picture of a little bird. And it was the perfect size for this frame. So dolls, don't be afraid to use whatever you have as art for your doll houses or miniature scenes. Art can come in many forms from a stamp to a old brooch. Now keep in mind dolls, the majority of my art and pictures inside my frames are pictures that I found in magazines that I glued to a card. I added a couple coats of Mod Podge to protect it and let it dry. So don't make it complicated dolls. Now I also decided to use some old family photos in a couple of my frames, especially the really old vintage looking pictures. Now I got these frames from the Ann Arbor Miniature Show and I hadn't used them yet, but I wanted to frame a couple family pictures that I thought would look nice inside the rooming house. Now this is a picture of my mom, my aunt, and my uncle when they were children. And I thought this was a great picture that would look really nice inside one of these big gold frames. I think this is a great shot. I'm actually probably going to distress the frame a little bit with the alcohol and paint wash, but I definitely want to frame this shot. And I actually think it looks better in the bigger frame, but that's a really, really cute picture. And I really think it's, it, it will add to the history of the Roman house. Now, this is actually a picture of my great grandmother, Margaret. So I do want to add her to one of the pictures, but this picture looks a little bit more modern. So I may save it to put in my next house. Now, this is a picture of my grandmother, my mother's mom, and that's me in the corner, little Gretchen. But what I thought was really interesting about this picture, this china cabinet looks almost exactly like the dollhouse china cabinet. Look at the design or the fretwork in the glass. Isn't that wild, dolls? But yeah, I think this is a really nice picture. But again, I think it will go in better in one of my more modern houses. Let me zoom in so you dolls can see little Gretchen. <laughs> so dolls, I keep staring at these beautiful pink flowers. And I think they'll look nice in one of these frames. Since I decided to use this big frame for my mom, aunt, and uncle, I think I'll use this smaller frame for these beautiful pink flowers. I think they'll look pretty in the Roman house dining room. I think that'll complement the wallpaper and those pretty pink upholstered chairs. So let me just go ahead and back this print so it'll fit inside the frame. So we'll have another option for the Roman house dollhouse art. So here I am dolls adding the glue and as usual I added too much. So I had to wipe a little bit off. But after I sized the frame, I actually placed it inside and adjusted it so that the part that I wanted to show would show in the frame. And I weighted it down so it would dry nice and flat. And then I went on to the picture of my mom, my aunt, and my uncle and sized it as well, backed it with a piece of card. And then I realized I looked on the back and I saw their names. It's like, wow. I lost my aunt in 2018 and I just lost my uncle two weeks ago. So this picture is really special. The only one left in this shot is my mom. So this picture, they'll all live forever in the rooming house dollhouse. And dolls, I used the exact same process. I put a card behind the photograph, glued it, weighted it down, and then shaped it and cut it to the shape so it would fit neatly inside the frame. And after I added the glue, I pressed it in, adjusted it a little, and then allowed it to dry. And just like that, dolls, I have a beautiful photograph ready to be hung in the rooming house dollhouse. Now, though, although I love both of these frames and both of these pictures, the gold looks a little bit bright to me. So dolls, you know, we have to tone it down and add a little age to it. So I'm using my acrylic paint and alcohol wash and just giving it a quick coat to tone down that brassy or gold look. And I'll just put on two layers because like I said, I want it to look vintage. I'm not going to get it on the picture. So no worries on that dolls. 
but I'm just like dragging the solution over so it'll get into those little nooks and crannies of the design and it'll actually make the design look more prominent. It'll stand out more with the little patina from the wash. And I think that looks really, really nice. It's really going to bring it up. And if you can look at it, dolls, you can already see that the black wash is really making it look more interesting and bringing out the design. And I added the same treatment to the other frame. Now I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm so glad you're here with me on this journey. And I also want to thank those of you who haven't subscribed, but you're watching. I appreciate you as well. So this is part one of adding details to the Roman House dining room. And part two will be on Wednesday. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.